अप्ले अपर लिमिट मैनस लोअर लिमिट अप्ले वाट अपर लिमिट मैनस लोअर लिमिट मीन इन द प्लेस ऑफ एक्स पुट बी वन टू टू अपर लिमिट लोअर लिमिट इन वेर एवर एक्स इज देर इन द होल फंक्शन पुट टू सी नो इंटेग्रेशन ऑफ सैन एक्स इज मैनस का इंटेग्रेशन ऑफ सैन ए एक्स इज मैनस का एक्स बै ए टू बी अप्ले अपर लिमिट मैनस लोअर लिमिट मीन इन द प्लेस ऑफ एक्स पुट अपर लिमिट मैनस इन द प्लेस ऑफ एक्स पुट लोअर लिमिट Welcome to the session, dear students. In today's class, I'll go ahead with new chapter that is definite integrals and application of integrals. Chapter twenty-one. Definite integrals. For this, basic required is indefinite. Once you are thorough with indefinite integrals, then understanding this will become easy. So now, in today's class, first I'll teach you the basic of what. definite integral definite means what so when i write a problem of the form integration a to b means from here to here generally integrate means combine combine from a to b f of x dx what is the meaning of this means integrate it and apply limit say let us assume integration of f of x is g of x suppose then integration of a to b f of x dx is g of x g of x after integrate you will get this a to b means from a to b from what a to b means Apply upper limit minus lower limit. Apply what? Upper limit minus lower limit means in the place of x put b, then in the place of x put a. So answer is g of b minus g of a. This is the answer. Here we don't write plus c. Here we don't write plus c because it is definite. So we don't have any integral constant. What is the meaning of this? So let us. Uh, Take an example to understand this. Example. I'll take a simple problem. Integration of integration of say two to three x dx. Simple problem I'll take. What is that? Integration of two to three x dx. How to solve this? How to solve this? So simple. First, we'll integrate. What is integration of x? All of you know, integration of x power n dx is x power n plus one divided by n plus one plus c. So, integration of x dx is x means x power one. So, x power one plus one by one plus one plus c. This you know by concept of indefinite integral. Same thing, integration of x dx is x power x means x power one, so it will become x square by two. Now I have integrated. Now we need to apply limit two to three. So upper limit, so upper limit is three, lower limit is two. Whatever they give. First you integrate. Use the regular formula of integration. Integrate. Then apply upper limit minus lower limit. Upper limit minus lower limit means in the place of x put three, and minus in the place of x put. Two. So in the place of x, I'll put three. So it will become three square by two minus. In the place of x, I'll put two. Two square by two. So now what is three square? Three square is nine by two minus four by two. So now simplify. LCM is two. Nine minus four is five. Five by two. So always definite integral gives you a constant. Finally, you will get a number value. So that's why it is definite. There it was indefinite. We used to get a function. We used to put plus c. I hope all of you understood this. What is integration of? How to read this? How to read this? Integration of a to b f of x dx. This is called as definite integral because I am writing. I am integrating from a to b. First, use the formula of integration of f of x. Suppose integration of f of x is g of x. Then 
first you integrate then apply limit upper limit minus lower limit means in the place of x put b g of b agate minus in the place of x put a that's it so now we'll take some simple problems say now example 2 so integration of say 1 to 2 1 to 2 1 by x dx this is a problem read this first how to read this integration of 1 to 2 1 by x dx is it definite integral yes it is definite integral why this is definite integral because we are integrating from 1 to 2 suppose if i don't write this 1 and 2 it will become indefinite now integration of 1 by x you know the formula list so in the formula you have list you have learnt integration of 1 by x is exactly log base e x if it is indefinite plus c if it is definite we should not put plus c so now integration 1 to 2 1 by x dx is integration of 1 by x is log base e x from where to where 1 to 2 so now apply upper limit minus lower limit upper limit minus lower limit means log base e in the place of x put upper limit upper limit is 2 minus log base e in the place of x put 1 now log a minus log b what is log a minus log b log a by b so it will become log base e 2 by 1 that is log 2 is the answer or here log 1 is 0 you can directly write anything fine I hope all of you understood what is definite integral. So, what is definite integral? So, whenever the problem is in the form integration a to b f of x dx, then we call it as what? Definite integral. How to solve this? First, you integrate, it will give you a function and uh, apply upper limit and minus lower limit. So, finally, you will get g of b minus g of a in the place of x put upper limit minus in the place of x put lower limit this is the format and one simple example one simple example for this process is any problem i can take so i'll take integration of say 2 to 5 e power x dx simple problem so what is integration of e power x integration of e power x is e power x after you integrate it will be e power x from where to where from 2 to 3 from 2 to 3 upper limit minus lower limit in the place of x put 3 minus in the place of x put 2 e cube minus e square that's it so whenever it is definite integral you should not put plus c whenever it is indefinite when they don't give limits like this then you would put plus c so now we are discussing what definite integral what is the name of the chapter definite integral and its applications first i'll make you thorough with definite integral then we'll go to its applications next so we'll start with the exercise 21.1 evaluate one more question simple and direct so they want you to integrate 0 to 1 x square dx so they want you to integrate what the question a is simple integrate 0 to 1 x square dx so now you know integration integration of x power n is x power n plus 1 by n plus 1 so it will become x power 2 plus 1 divided by 2 plus 1 you integrate it this is definite integral because it is from 0 to 1 so you should not put plus c after integration from where to where 0 to 1 so use a bracket and write 0 to 1 now this is what x cube divided by 3 2 plus 1 is 3 2 plus 1 is 3 from where to where 0 to 1 now you should apply upper limit minus lower limit upper limit means in the place of x put 1 so it become 1 cube by 3 minus lower limit lower limit means again in the place of x put 0 0 cube by 3 so you will get 1 cube is 1 by 3 minus 0 cube is 0 by 3 is 0 so it is 1 by 3 final answer is what 1 by 3 next we have integration of 1 to 2 x plus e per x dx so integration of 1 to 2 x plus e power x dx see here integrate each term then you apply limit so integration x dx 
plus integration e power x dx from where to where 1 to 2. So, individually you can integrate and apply limit. What is integration of x? x square by 2 from where to where 1 to 2 plus what is integration of e per x? e per x from where to where from 1 to 2. So, now apply in the place of x upper limit. What is the upper limit? 2. So, it will become 2 square by 2 minus 1 square by 2 plus e power 2 minus e power 1. Now, 2 to cancel. So, 2 minus 1 by 4 plus e square minus e. Now, number values you can simplify. If I take LCM, 4 is the LCM. 4 to the 8. 8 minus 1. 4 to the 8. 8 minus 1. 7 by 4 plus e square minus e is the answer. I hope all of you understood this. The same problem in one step you can do. That is integration of x is x square by 2 integration of e per x is e per x i integrated both in single step apply where to where 0 to sorry 1 to 2 upper limit lower limit upper limit is not in the place of x put 1 so 1 square sorry upper limit 2 square by 2 plus e power 2 minus lower limit lower limit is what 1 square by 2 plus e power 1 for the whole function whole function in the place of x, I put 2 minus. In the whole function, in the place of x, I am putting 1. So now 2 square by 2 is 4 by 2. 4 by 2 becomes 2 minus plus e square minus 1 by 1 square is 1 by 2 plus e. So 2 to the 4 minus 1. Say so 2 minus 2 to the 4, 4 minus 1, 3 by 2 plus e square. Sorry, plus into minus is minus, minus e. See here, sorry, here I have done a mistake. 1 square by 2 it is. Observe. 1 square by 2 is 1 square is 1 by 2. 1 by 2. It is 1 by 2. What is 2 minus 1 by 2? 2 minus 1 by 2. 2 minus 1 by 2. Take LCM. 2 to the 4. 4 minus 1. 3. 3 by 4. 3 by 2. Sorry. 3 by 2. 3 by 2 plus e square minus a. Here also you will get 3 by 2 plus e square minus e, any method. So now forgetting all the steps, more the steps, more the mistakes. So directly you can do. So they gave integration of 1 to 2 x plus e power x. Now the Kadman steps are made. So all of you know what is integration of x? x square by 2. What is integration of e power x? e power x. In single step I integrated and 1 to 2, upper limit, lower limit. And wherever x is there in the whole function, put 2. So, it will become 2 square by 2 plus e power 2. This is upper limit minus lower limit. Wherever x is there, put 1. So, it will become 1 square by 2 plus e power 1. So, now 2 square by 2, 2, 2 cancels. It will be 2 plus e square minus 1 by 2 minus e. So, 2 minus 1 by 2. 2 minus 1 by 2, 2 to the 4, 4 minus 1 is 2 to the 4. 4 minus 1 is 3 by 2. Plus e square minus e. So I write it at the end. That's it. I hope all of you got it. Next. Integration of 0 to pi by 2 sin 2x. Integration of 0 to pi by 2 sin 2x. See now integration of sin x is minus cos x. Integration of sin ax is minus cos ax by a. So this will become minus cos 2x divided by quotient of x 2 from where to where from 0 to pi by 2 now in the place of x put 0 uh, pi by 2 and upper limit minus lower limit that is minus cos 2 times upper limit is pi by 2 whole thing by 2 this is upper limit minus lower limit that is minus cos 2 times 0 divided by 2 so, all of you know, 2 to cancels, we are left out with minus cos pi by 2, cos pi whole thing by 2, minus cos 2 0 is a 0 by 2, that is, you know, cos pi, cos pi means cos odd pi, cos 1 pi, cos 1 pi is always minus 1, so by 2, minus 
cos 0 all of you know cos 0 is 1 by 2 so now minus of minus becomes plus 1 by 2 minus 1 by 2 so it will become minus of minus 1 becomes plus 1 sorry here we have minus one more minus inside so minus of minus becomes plus plus 1 by 2 plus 1 by 2 is 2 by 2 2 by 2 is what 1 1 is the answer i hope all of you got it so upper limit minus lower limit and one more technique is one more technique is we can directly integrate integration of 0 to pi by 2 sin 2 x dx so other technique is integrated when you integrate it will become minus cos 2x divided by 2 0 to pi by 2 right so now constant you can take minus 1 by 2 you can take it out he my mi 1 minus 1 is the quotient by 2 and cos 2x for only cos 2x you can apply 0 to pi by 2 upper limit minus lower limit outside we will have minus 1 by 2 upper limit means cos 2x 2 times pi by 2 minus cos 2 times 0 by 0 that's it upper limit minus lower limit so minus half outside as it is 2 to cancel so it become cos pi minus cos 0 that is minus 1 by 2 cos pi means cos r pi minus 1 this is minus 1 so it become minus 1 by 2 into minus 2 so that will become uh, minus into minus plus 2 by 2 that will become 1 again Final answer one never at means what is the new technique what I use I observed there is a constant so this minus 1 by 2 I took it out then I took the function for the function I applied upper limit and lower limit then we have integration of minus pi by 4 to pi by 4 cosecant square x dx integration of minus pi by 4 to pi by 4 cosecant square x dx all of you know integral of cosecant square x what is integral of cosecant square x minus cot x minus cot x from where to where minus pi by 4 to pi by 4 see if you have negative sign put it outside i will take it outside so i am left out with cot x from where to where minus pi by 4 to pi by 4 so minus 1 let it be as it is now apply upper limit and lower limit so minus 1 outside so upper limit cot upper limit cot pi by 4 minus lower limit cot of minus pi by 4 so now minus cot 5 by 4 cot 45 degrees is 1 by root 2 minus cot of minus x cot of minus x is pi minus cot x pi minus cot pi by 4 minus 1 by root 2 plus pi plus cot pi by 4 is 1 by root 2 so these two cancels and you will be left out with then integration of 0 to pi by 2 sin x plus cos x dx see first you integrate what is integration of sin x cos x then what is integrate minus cos x what is integration of cos x sin x now apply limit from where to where 0 to pi by 2 upper limit what is upper limit wherever x is there put pi by 2 minus cos pi by 2 plus sin pi by 2 minus lower limit lower limit means wherever x is there put 0 minus cos 0 plus sin 0 so now all of you know minus cos 90 is 1 cos 90 is 0 plus sin 90 is 1 minus cos 0 is 1 plus sin 0 is 0 minus uh, 1 minus 0 is 1 minus half minus 1 plus 1 so 2 so I hope all of you got this next sorry next we have similar problems wherein we have to apply upper limit minus lower limit so today I started with what definite integral what is definite integral integration of a to b f of x means integrate it and apply a to b apply upper limit minus lower limit means in the place of x put upper limit minus in the place of x put lower limit so finally you should get a constant whenever you integrate with limits we call it a definite integral for definite integral we will not get plus c so I hope all of you understood this please sit and revise this and we will go ahead with two and three mark problems of definite integrals in my next session. 
Thanks for attending. I'll see you in my next session. Thank you.